Another way for genes to survive is to make individuals beautiful to the opposite sex. Male birds of paradise have gorgeously coloured feathers because the genes that made those feathers were more likely to end up in the next generation because they appealed to females. Bower birds do it in a different way. They're a family of birds closely related to birds of paradise, but instead of having gorgeous feathers to seduce the females, the males build bowers made of grass, decorated with bones, shells, bottle tops, the bower is a kind of external set of feathers. The desire to understand other species is not just a product of our natural curiosity. This understanding is central to our own survival. Our early ancestors once feared the animal predators around them. until we learnt to hunt and kill the predators. These prehistoric skills are still played out today in the rainforests of Ecuador. The children of the Warani people are each given a jungle animal as a pet. Through play, they will learn the animal's habits so improving their ability to hunt the animals in later life. Through knowledge comes power. We have herded animals as a food source for almost 10,000 years. In the harshest parts of the world, certain species, like the reindeer in Lapland, have been crucial to man's survival. Native Australians tie a piece of cotton to a honeybee, making it easier to follow it back to its hive and its nutritious honey. We have formed mutually beneficial relationships with animals to ensure both species' survival. These fishermen in Brazil work with dolphins to herd fish into their nets. What the fishermen don't need, the dolphins are happy to have. Man's intervention in animal life has had a radical effect on some species. Dogs, directly descended from the wild wolf, have been domesticated for human needs. We have affected the pigeon to such a degree that some breeds have actually adopted a new way of flying. Man's exploitation of animals has not always been to their benefit. Today, many scientists believe that the world is facing the largest wave of extinctions since the disappearance of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. It is estimated that nearly 24% of mammals and 12% of birds face extinction. Man's evolutionary success has been achieved at a huge cost to other species. With success and dominance comes a responsibility to the Earth and to all its inhabitants. <laughs>